We are here today with some of the people at St. Mark's who are very actively engaged in what's called pastoral care. How members look after one another in times of need and provide uh, not only prayer but other support uh, services as well. Um, to be a companion, a uh, Christian companion, along the journey when the journey gets bumpy. And I want to thank uh, folks for being here. We have both of our wardens here, Phil Glandon and Kelly Kelleher, and our deacon, Joan Maynard, and Gretchen Hirsch from the parish prayer chain. And we're going to throw out a real broad question. What is pastoral care to you? The love of Christ made personal. The love of Christ made personal. Yes. That when my life is falling apart or looks sort of deep into a black hole, a, a, a person, a, a warm body, is there to assure me of love and care, to perhaps bring a meal, to offer a prayer, either in that moment or to give me the assurance that the wider body of Christ is holding me in prayer in whatever the situation is that I'm facing. I like Joan's definition because uh, we often what we we often say this in prayers or, or blithely maybe, but this idea of being the hands and feet of God, you know, make, bringing the kingdom to where we are right now, and so that that idea of being the hands and feet, actually bringing the kingdom to other people, or or to ourselves through other people, or maybe sharing a burden, you know, helping a person carry a load. It's being a minister. There's more than one minister, and it's being a minister to that person who needs it. Bring being a ministry, if you will, to one person or another. So in many ways. We're all ministers. It's not just the person with the collar on making the official visit and saying a prayer from the prayer book. Uh, there's a whole network of things that are involved in this caring for one another. Yes, in the, in the hospital, to just show up and stand with uh, somebody who was in a bed or on a gurney is... They awaited what happens next. To know that you are not going through an unsettling time, a scary time, alone. And it can be remote as well. Uh, the prayer chain, we pray in our homes, we pray in our cars, we pray in the shower, we pray wherever we happen to be for the people who are on that list. Um, people pray differently. Some people have a, a set time, a set place. Other people sort of pray on the run. But it's remote. It's a remote ministry, but those people are in our thoughts and in our hearts. One of the exciting things about St. Mark's and the ministry here and the pastoral care aspect is not only can the people providing ministry through the prayer chain be remote, but we can also be disciples and take ministry out to others. So... Uh, you know, whether the the people who are recipients, uh, you know, of some pastoral care can be community people, people seeking Christ in others in other settings, whether it's you know down at uh, the street church, you know, food service, or whether it's in another setting, we're able to reach out and be you know, not just for our own congregation, but you know, for the larger world, as we're called to do so. We have each mentioned a very specific part of pastoral care, the prayer chain and uh, participating in the street church ministry. Uh, what are some of the parts, the components of pastoral care that happen at St. Mark's? What's... Well, Stephen's ministry would certainly be one. We have a, have a very significant group of Stephen's ministers now. I suppose we're up to... Well, a dozen, yeah, a dozen, a dozen Stephen ministers, not counting the four leaders that we have. Um, so we have a, have a strong group of Stephen's ministers that walk with members of the parish who are going through a particularly difficult time and uh, just uh, basically uh, uh, provide 
uh, an ear uh, uh, to listen, uh, to, to uh, be with them you know, th through that period of time, help them maybe clarify their thoughts and, and pray with them uh, that, they're, that they uh, heal. Jesus said to his disciples, I am with you until the end of time. It's nice to know that somebody shows up when it feels like the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well done. Well done. <laughs>